and your girlfriend decides to pray this prayer point for you I want my boyfriend to be poor and jobless nations welcome back to my youtube channel is your get cash rest and i'm back again with another video i'm back again with another vibe guys what's up what's popping as you guys know youtube has kind of been messing with my views recently but <laughs> your guy is still pushing your guy is still moving and your guy is still trying to deliver to you guys so guys today i'm here with another topic okay as you guys can see by the titles before you guys Start crucifying me before you guys come to like kill me I'm going to tell you guys the reason why this video is titled what is titled as you guys can see by today's title which is I want my husband to be jobless and poor <clears throat> guys okay I know some people will be coming after me like they think like this girl look at what she's planning look at the prayer she's making for her husband and all that but guys I won't be prolonging this video because I want it to be concise i want it to be short and then i want it to be straightforward okay so i watched this particular video the inspiration was gotten from a channel i'm going to be dropping the name of the channel and also you guys should go check her out too she's called unique choice yes she's called unique choice and also she's a youtuber based in malaysia she's a nigerian youtuber based in malaysia with her family and i love watching her videos most time because it has it talks more about families and um, about her children she has kids um, babies and all that so guys you should go check out our channel so yesterday i before i slept off i got a notification and because i'm a notification gang i got a notification from her and then i decided to like okay let me check this video out and then i opened the video the title of the video was um uh, i want my husband to be poor and jobless okay i was like what's happening <laughs> what's happening what's this woman trying to do because i know her husband is cute and then she's also she's also very very cute too because i know one thing about youtube and youtubers we like giving our videos like a nice title and also trying to entice people to come watch okay so i decided to like okay let me check it out but i know definitely she might not be talking about herself but let me just see it and listen to what she wants to say and she went straight forward to talk about um talk about a lady on twitter okay she said the message was sent to a a relationship expert it's called joro yeah it's called joro i'm going to be dropping messages of uh what the lady sent because after i listened after i watched a video i went and searched about that uh, particular tweet i went and searched about that lady and then i discovered one or other two things okay so the lady tweeted that um she wants her husband to be poor and jobless you guys will be wondering why she decided why she wants her husband to be poor and jobless okay take for instance you are a guy let's just say even if the guy is not your husband let's say the guy let's say you are not yet married to the lady and let's say you're just the boyfriend yet and your girlfriend decides to pray this prayer point for you i want my boyfriend to be poor and jobless what are you going to feel if your wife not, not talk about someone that you're already married to stand up one day and then sweet not that she even say it to your front like privately she went on twitter to say it for the whole world like for everybody to know that this is her wish for everybody to know that this is what she's praying for you she did not even tell it she did not even tell you to your front alone like she has that nerves already like to go on twitter and then say it broadcast it to the world and this thing is causing a controversial issue right now because so many people are trying to like figure out why even though this man is doing what you said he is doing like he doesn't give you any right to wish him that kind of because this is wishing someone bad luck yes not talk about your husband father of your own children oh my god <laughs> oh my god i i don't even want to laugh about this stuff because we ladies right now we're just kind of praying for a better man we are not yet married fine i'm not yet married but we are praying for someone that can take care of us and for your guy or for your husband to be able to take care of you that means the person has a nice job and the person is well to do but you right now praying for your husband to be poor and for your husband to be jobless huh? 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 sister do you want to carry the load on your head all right guys i won't i won't divert i'll be telling you guys the reason why she said or the reason why she wished her husband this particular stuff okay in the twitter she said something like 
um, since her husband lost his job, since her husband lost his job, he has been like taking care of her, and then he has been kind of uh, washing her pants and bra. <laughs> he has been washing her pants and bras, and also he has been staying at home. He no longer cheats because the husband lost the job. So right now, I think she's feeling that when the husband is jobless, when the husband is poor, when the husband not, has nothing, like has nothing at home to cater for the children and she's the only one doing that, the husband is always loyal to her. Like the husband is always taking care of the house. And she said something about last week, <laughs> last week that the husband did clean up. Like the husband cleaned everywhere, washed her pants and bra, and then he's been loyal to her. Oh my god sister is that what you want your husband to become like you want your husband to become a household you want your husband to become boy boy <laughs> like we call them boy boy like house boy yes that's what you 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 practically want your husband to be doing for you to become your house boy to become your house help and then you go out outside cater for your children like become the breadwinner is that what you want fine it's good you, you support your husband. It's good you have something you are doing. It's good like you have your own job. And the money comes from this side, it comes from this side. It comes from your husband, it, it comes from you too. Like you guys get to balance this stuff in. And then she also made a prayer point. She said something that her husband just submitted as his, his CV in a particular IT, is it IT house? The husband just uh, submitted his CV and then she's praying. <laughs> Oh my god so women so women she's praying that the husband don't get the job she's praying that the company gets to give the job to another person oh my gee oh my word like for real like your husband lost his job and right now is he has decided to go look for another job he has started submitting his cv and then they have called him for interview probably and then right now you're praying that the company don't don't accept him you're praying that the company gets to give the job to someone else i don't i don't get it i don't get if you're not okay i'm going to be saying something that unique choice said in her video she said that she doesn't want like she's not going to blame the lady because most times most times, some, some men really push ladies to do some things, right? But she also made a comment that if you're not enjoying marriage, it's better you go out from it than you start stressing yourself and you, you, like you start hurting your feelings and you start wishing bad luck for someone else. Yes, she made the right point there because I don't see any reason why whereby your, your husband will be like um, unfaithful to you. Your husband is not treating you fine, okay? Your husband is not doing all those things you said he's not doing he's not taking care of you and he's cheating on you and you think you're not able to like i don't really know much about relation like marriage because i've not been in marriage before but to me i know i can't be in an abusive marriage that is true i can't be in an abusive marriage if i say that it's not working out for me if i say that i'm not enjoying it anymore if i say that it is hurting me it is making me to like like it's making me to to lose my mind there's a clip i watch from blessing blessing ceo she said something that when you're in a in a in an abusive uh, relationship or abusive marriage the beating doesn't just start one day it starts gradually like today the man might do you this way tomorrow he do you two next tomorrow three and when you see that it's becoming too abusive and probably you you you, you as a woman you start like you start being like um, vocal when it comes to abusing your husband you start abusing him vocal like um verbally rather you, you start using your mouth to like abuse him and because of that beating starts like normal normal belt beating like you oh my god my belt is not here you see your husband using belt to, like whip you if you shouldn't even allow it to get to that extent you shouldn't if you're not enjoying your marriage it's Divorce is not in the Bible. They said the divorce is not in the Bible. But you can't be in a, in a marriage that you just start losing your mind because people are, right now, when you tweeted this particular stuff out there, people are insulting you. They don't know what your husband has been doing. They don't care about what your husband has been doing. But right now, they are, they are trying to like put you or call you the mad person. Right now, they are trying to tell you that you are the one that is mad. You're the one that is insane. You're the one that is losing it because you're wishing your husband bad luck. You're wishing the father of your children bad luck <laughs> i 
since yesterday I watched this stuff, I've just been thinking, I've just been thinking, like marriage is something else. Most people are enjoying marriage, others are, 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 are enduring it. If you're the kind of person that endures it and you think you don't want to endure it anymore, then, then don't endure it, then just go. Because marriage is meant to be enjoyed. That's what I believe. Marriage is meant to be enjoyed, not endured. I, I, like, I'm, not I'm not going to get married so that I'll just go there and start enduring it. For you to wish your husband that particular stuff, like you went beyond, like you, you, you went beyond the fence, like it was too much for you to pray that kind of prayer for your husband. It's not good for your husband to cheat. I'm not supporting any cheaters out there. I'm not supporting any unfaithful husband that are out there treating their, their wives anyhow, making their wives feel that, that, uh, that without them, they are going to meet someone else. Like they can, they can go after young girls. I'm not here supporting them. I hate cheaters. Like, I hate cheating husbands. So, not to talk about ma being married to one. But if you feel that your husband is doing it consistently, like your husband keep doing it, like your husband don't want to stop it, and you feel that he's hurting you, it feels that you feel that you're, you're losing it and it's really, really hurting you. Sister, I beg. Waka. Waka. <laughs> Waka. That's just the truth. That's just the truth. You can't be in a relationship wherever you become the mad person. Everybody on Twitter, they are insulting you right now. And people out there, they are thinking like, you're not a good wife. You might probably be one. But right now, they don't want to put themselves in your shoes. They don't want to, they don't want to think that uh, uh, your husband, they don't want to even think about what your husband is doing. They don't want to think about the fact that your husband has been cheating on you or cheated on you. Right now, what they are thinking about is you wishing your your husband bad luck, like wishing your husband to lose everything, and then you become the breadwinner. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy being the breadwinner alone. Just just know that it's not really easy. If you're the breadwinner of your house, you definitely use your husband as a rag. So ladies out there, I'm not just saying it in for the. Uh, wife alone I'm also saying it for the girlfriends and boyfriends if you're not yet married and you think you're not enjoying your relationship please 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 you guys should just end it right now when it's early when you guys are not yet married and please if you're already in a, in in like uh, ma married already to the man and he's doing that that you can pray oh you can pray first you know they always tell us to pray you can pray first but if you still see that it's not still working my sister don't go and lose it don't go and lose your mind because of one man that after everything after you run mad because of him after you become insane because of him people will still put every blame on you and he will also move on and go and look for another younger wife that is going to marry so please guys if you're a cheating guy or a cheating boyfriend please stop it eh some girls are really losing it and if you're the wife i beg you don't wish your husband bad luck because he's the father of your children and also this um video credits goes to also goes to unique because without watching it from a page i wouldn't have gone in search of um in search of the lady or in search of this topic so guys go check her out unique choice yes go check her out she has amazing videos subscribe to her channel and if you like this content if you like my channel please also subscribe to me and i'll be giving you guys videos back to back this week okay i've been going live and i'm i'm currently i'm gonna pause a little bit and then give you guys more videos okay thanks for watching and thank you and subscribe <laughs>